Good morning, everybody. I thought I wanted to uh, run through how the game or like the um, town creator is now. Um, thought about we will run through how to set up a town. Um, let me just find the rules quickly. Uh, the town inator, we can put this over here uh, so we can easily get access to it. All right, I found some online dice so we can roll it together. All right, so the first thing we'll do according to the rule set is that we will find our town size and we will roll a d6 for that. So let's roll and we get a city. All right, then we will write. Oh, sorry about that. Then we will write city in here. So we have a city, and the city has, let's just say, we have 50,000 individuals in this city. Um, the age, that I haven't made any rules for that yet. Um, all right, when we have rolled a city, we will get the following dice, as you see over here. Uh, we get 2d8 with a minimum of 3. These rules will be changed in the future because a guy on Reddit uh, told me that um, there's a, a way, another way to do it where you add, add a modifier to it. But right now, let's go with these rules. So we will get 2d8 and we will roll development uh, as well on this. So let's just take from the top and down. So we get 2d8 for these two crime and culture. So we have 1d8 and 1d4. Um uh, so crime is eight and we have two in here. Alright, culture five and four. And when it's a four we go just go to the next level. So basically we have three pips up here and then that you take off every time you roll either one, two or three, but if you roll a four, you just add a level. Um, so we go to level six. All right, we have education. I renamed uh, it from uh, technology, so we have education now. Um, and this is a D10 with a minimum of four. So we have, that. So we have four and four. Uh, it's five then. That's one. Ah, uh, let's just do it like this. D ten. 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 We have five of those. Um, let's roll one more. So we have five. No, that's a six. Ah, oh, I can't write. Yeah, six. We have two and ten. We have a minimum of four and two. And we have the last one, which is four and two. All right. And then we get to the other stuff, which is a D12. We have two of those, one, two, one, two. And we have 3D20, which is here in 20, 20, 20. And the D12 is a minimum of five. Let's just write this here, five, five, five. 20 is a minimum of six, six, six. All right, now I can remember it. So we will roll a D12. And that had a minimum of five, so we'll write five, two, and a twelve, and three. In trade, we will get a d20. Let's roll. That's a ten, and one. That's a twelve. 
and two, and the last one. We will get a 18. Oh, there's a lot of worshipping people in this town. There. All right. The next thing we will do. That was the categories we just rolled. So now we have some building points that we will need to uh, dis distribute into um, the building columns. And we will just find it somewhere there. There it was. We'll look over and a one building can at maximum have uh, the number six in it because then it reaches like the noble status and it can't, can't get any higher than that. All right, we have rolled eight. So we have three points in this. Uh, let's say we, we want a black market and we want some mercenaries. Um, six gives us two points. Let's have that placed in. Uh, five gives us one. Let's have an institution of some kind. Um, six gives us two. We want a herbalist and a apothecary. Ten gives us four. Let's have some some stables, poor barracks, fortification. Um, all it gives us basically nothing. Uh, four, five gives us one. Let's have some. Uh, I have changed hot springs to baths. Um, it's weird that this haven't been changed. Oh well, let's have fountains then. Uh, reputation. Let's see. Let's just have like a very, very good looking monument. Uh, trade gives us four. Let's have a market. Or like. It's not one market, but it is like one market in town has the appearance or like the um, lifestyle scale as seen here is it's, it's a pleasant market. One market in town is at least this. It can be more, but one is at least pleasant. Um, let's see, we have wealth. 12 gives us, let's, let's have some let's have some uh, some mines that are really good looking uh, worship uh, 18 gives us six points let's have a really noble looking shrine all right right now uh, the terrain modifier does the following it will be changed though because I don't think it doesn't work that well we have a d20 and we roll it and we get a one so we look up here this particular town is played placed in arctic environment and right now we have uh, let's just write it arctic and we get a minus five terrain modifier and we will apply this modifier to any of the um, any of the categories you see here so let's just bomb down the production to zero and let's have uh, the order being free all right now we will pick our city specialty so we have agricultural, cultural, education, industrial, mercantile, and militaristic. Um, let's roll it again. We get a four, which is industrial. So we have an industrial town placed in the Arctic. There. And then we will go down to the industrial to see what boons we get. Alright. Let's start by subtracting one from health. Uh, so health goes down to five. And let's just see if that changes anything on our buildings list. I don't think it will. 
Let's see, it's up here. So five, oh, it gives us one. So let's remove the apothecary. And we have a herbalist in the Arctic. So this probably is an Arctic plants. It's very good. Um, but it is a very poor, poor looking, or oh, it's actually a grimy herbalist. Um, let's see here. Let's go down to industrial. All right. We will pick one of three and add one to that category. So production, wealth, and trade. So let's say we bump up production. Uh, let's see if we can find it here. So production gets one. Uh, let's just fill this more out so that we can actually see. Uh, and we get one in two of the following buildings. So let's just pick from uh, let's just pick light hot springs that could be fun in the Arctic. Uh, and let's just pick the see if I can find the end. There. All right. So that's kind of it from where the at the mechanic standpoint of this games take place right now the thing i'm working on is the moral compass of the town and right now i just copy pasted like the alignment uh, chart from uh, D, D. so you have nine uh, nine places to where to place one dot and um, and it'll basically tell you the alignment of of the town uh, towards the players everything in this sheet is guided towards player experience and player interaction um, but that's kind of it i hope you enjoyed it and please let me know if you have any feedback check out my gumroad or even join my discord where we discuss um, like the layout and we discuss where to play stuff and so on i really want to see you there so make sure you join our discord